Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 14th of 2023. Well, it is titled to fly free in space. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of actually Bruce McCandless the second and one of the astronauts of the space shuttle and this was space shuttle Challenger from a mission in 1984. And this was from the first untethered spacewalk. So in previous spacewalks, the astronaut was always tethered to the ship. And that meant there was attached to it by a line that allowed them to pull themselves back if they needed to. Now this used a device that would then shoot jets of nitrogen gas. Now when you're in space, it's a lot easier to travel because there is no friction. So launching a spacecraft to the outer solar system is difficult in getting it off the Earth. You've got to lift it out of Earth's gravity well. But once you get something going at a high speed, it will keep doing that. It's not there's no air resistance as there would be here on Earth. There's no friction. It just travels. So if you're out in space like this, you can use jets of air. And if you shoot the jets of air in one direction, you will travel in the opposite direction. So you could do that very slowly to allow yourself to maneuver around and allow you to move a little bit further. In this case, about 100 meters away from the cargo bay of the space shuttle. And that was certainly much better to allow uh, astronauts to be able to ac access satellites and be able to get to them in terms of deploying and retrieving satellites, giving them a little bit more room to be able to work and still be able to get back. Now they're in the same orbit as the space shuttle. So they will travel exactly with the space shuttle around it. They are not going to be left behind because they travel with they have the space shuttles velocity when they leave it. So even though they're out there in space, and it looks like the space shuttle might move away from them, it would not do that the space shuttle is traveling at a certain speed in orbit around the Earth. And the astronaut is traveling with just about exactly the same speed. The only the slight adjustments made by their uh, jetpack that pumps out that lick that nitrogen gas to be able to allow them to move a little ways away. But their, their, their relative velocity is really the same as that of the shuttle itself. So they're not going to be left behind by the shuttle. They're not going to be pulled down to Earth because they share the same orbit as the shuttle. So while Earth's gravity is pulling on them, they are still moving. Even though they look like they're standing still, they are moving at a high speed around the Earth. And that astronaut is orbiting Earth once every 90 minutes, just like the shuttle is. So while it may look like they're just standing there and you might think that they'd either get pulled down to Earth or left behind. In reality, that astronaut is orbiting exactly as the shuttle that the uh, that they left not all that long before here. So that was our picture of the day for May 14th of 2023. It was titled to fly free in space. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be Red Eagle. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.